Okay, shall I screen, share my screen or somebody else is doing it now? Yeah, yeah, share your screen. Okay, I think what we did yesterday. Okay. You can also change the combinations of true and false for your better understanding, like this, how this operator works. Basically, this operator is uh, a logic which will, which will be applying for. Yeah. Yeah. You can change the mind that. I can see the output. Your voice is breaking. Hello? Yeah, you can, and next one can share the screen. Okay, fine. Hello. Hello. Yes, tell me. Oh. I'm so sure. Logical or Java program. Okay. Yes. You have got it right. Yes, yes. Uh, did you practice the other one of relational operators? Uh, no. no. Okay, I practice. Practice uh, like other word too. Okay. okay. Next. I have a problem in English. Talking in English. <laughs> You can understand, right? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay, next, uh, next question. Next person who is available can share the screen. Oh. Afnan, please share your screen. How many people we are expecting? Like, uh, can we start the well because there are very few here? Eight, nine, ten. Eight. Or do they don't know it is the class has already started? They may be not know. Yes, sir. Today started early. Maybe nobody saw the message. Usually it starts at 8 50. Um, they might see it now, 8 49. Okay, who are all joining now? Okay, and uh, share the screen and uh, uh, show me the show me the program of yesterday's. Have executed and who all have not set up 
uh, their ID can let me know if you have not uh, installed the application still. I'll be starting the class uh, since it's 8.50 already. And uh, today we'll be moving to our next topic, which is which is uh, bitwise operators. Okay, I'll uh, share my screen. Okay. So uh, we have completed relational operators, logical operators yesterday. Now we are moving to the bitwise operators. Okay, these are the basic like operators uh, which you will be which you have studied in your uh, school colleges like that. And uh, to know their definitions, uh, like uh, you, you can see here, the binary and operator returns one if both the operands are equal to one. This is for binary and operator. If both the operands are one, it returns. But otherwise it returns uh, zero. Here basically we are converting uh, the number or the the number which we are giving here into the uh, decimal uh, into the binary number and then we are doing the calculations bitwise. So next is the binary or operator and uh, this returns one if any one of its operate, uh, oper operates are one otherwise it returns uh, zero. Okay. Next is the binary or sort operator. Uh, it returns one if and only if exactly one of its operands is one. Yeah, uh, if both the operands are one or is zero, then it will return as zero. Next is the binary complement operator. It is a complement operator which does perform a negation thing. Uh, you know, right? Complement. Or if it is uh, true, it will return as false. If we give input as false, it will return true. 1 for 0 and 0 for 1. Next is the binary left shift operator. In this uh, left shift operator, uh, we can uh, uh, here, uh, here there is no elaborate uh, um, elaborate thing uh, for that. So we can, uh, if you need to know what exactly it does, you can uh, see uh, in some in some you can research in some page. Like uh, there is here left shift operator. It takes two operands and left shift left shifts the bits of the first operand, and the second operand decides the number of the places to be shifted. And the and similarly the right shift, it takes two uh, numbers. Uh, it right shifts the bits of the first operand, depending on the number of places to be shifted. 
using the second operator. Okay, next is the right uh, shift right zero fill operator. Okay, we'll see that in the coming uh, coming session. So, how we are including these B, uh, operators in our program to perform the calculations? See, uh, as you know, we are using some the some variable names and assigning them the values to that, and yes. we are performing the operations here. First, understand the logic of the operators. What does uh, they do and how they work? Okay, you can uh, understand them by using their. Uh, you can understand them by, like, uh, searching their definitions. So this is the basic logical max thing. Okay. okay. Now we are uh, implementing that in a program. Same, uh, like here we have declared uh, one number, num1 as 30, num2 as 6, and num3 as 0. You are going so fast, can you slow down? Okay. Uh, as you can see, first we have the declared a class here, bitwise op. Okay. Next we have uh, given the main, main method, public static void main. Next, we are declaring here the variables with their assignments. You know the variable definition and initialization, right? Yes. What does initialization mean? Initializing is uh, giving a, uh, telling, a, telling that uh, we are using this variable in the program. Yeah, we are using a variable and initializing that to some some number there number. value okay. okay some value yes okay now we are uh, here next we are giving a simple print statement in the double quotes we are giving what needs to be printed using our print statement next is uh, next we are applying the logic what is our logic next uh, first we are using this bitwise and operator okay uh, same same like yesterday uh, can anyone uh, write down this program like uh, first uh, four lines no need of this uh, comment session uh, just uh, write the program so that we can show this to everyone like how this works I have written. hello hello yeah, who will be initiating this? Yeah, I have written already. Okay, please share your screen. Okay, anyone please share your screen. I will guide through the program. How you need yeah. to write them? Share, share the screen. Or uh, can I do it? Yeah, yeah. Anyone can do. Okay. Okay, I have stopped. I can just. Yes. Now write the main method. I want to write down. Open the main method. Yes. Yeah. Now initialize the variables to any value you would like to initialize them. And num. num yes give any value there equals uh, 
now okay. one. Oh, okay. Two as one. Next okay. two more you go. Initialize. Initialize two more. Okay. Two equals. Okay. Yeah, now just give a simple print statement. As a yes, you yes, inside the double quotes. Mm -hmm. uh, Give the logic uh, first logic which we are using as bitwise and num1 okay. and num2 num1 and no not that and oh, okay okay because uh, yes that is okay. the operator num2 Give the name no. of the variable as you have assigned above. Okay. Because it will be easy to understand. Okay. Is equal uh -huh. to insert the double quotes. Oh, equals. Oh. Now come outside the double quotes and no. give a logic there no. as num1 and person num2. Okay. And uh, give, it, the give the logic inside the brackets. Okay. Try to execute the program. Okay. First, save it. Mm -hmm. run. I think I didn't save. Yeah. Control S. Okay. To edit configurations. Huh? Edit. No, no, no. There itself. You, you had edit configurations, right? Where, ma'am? When you had clicked to run. Okay. Okay. Here. Edit configuration. Not there. Run. Yes, in that run. Yeah, okay. Now give the program name here. Here. Okay. In the next and line also, where there is logical, you give the program name. Okay. Apply. Okay. Apply and okay. Uh, apply, I don't see any apply here. Side okay and cancel. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, and now run the program. Alright. So I mean too much. Can I find the symbol? Uh, yeah, I forgot the yeah. String. You should give the string in capital letter. String yeah, yes. Save it and run. Yes. Number one and number two equals ten. Okay. 
the same thing you do for the bitwise or operator here yeah in the next line just copy and paste the print statement print statement use the bitwise or operator wait wait Your or only only one, right? Yes, only one. Okay. Num num two and three or no, give the same thing. You can give okay. any number there. Okay. As you wish. Okay. Yes. No, no run the program. Okay. He is uh, performing the logic there yes. and giving you the output. Now, do the same thing for bitwise or operator and uh, binary complement operator. Uh, bitwise uh, forward uh, arrow. Okay. Yeah. No, no, Double. Third. No, no, third. Only one. No, no, no. Not this thing. Bitwise or operator. I'll oh, share with you. I'll share with you. I'll share it. Six. Shift plus six. Yes. Oh, carrot top. Okay. Yeah, where is the carrot top? I have shared you through the chat. Yeah. Okay. Next, the complement operator. After that. Oh, that is the... Complement operator next to the um, forward arrows. Not arrows, complement. Complement sign. Uh, you will uh, get it that is the, once besides uh, the keyboard. I have shared with you to the chat. Oh, okay. It can't see it at my keyboard. Ah, yes. Okay. Inspected. Where have I gone wrong? Hello? Yes. Uh, what is the error? Expected? Oh. Very common. Very common. Hey, it's going to be more. What do need to give to variables they remove one give it as like uh, give only the num two there instead of num one yeah okay i have to delete this yeah. um i didn't understand what does the uh, operator do is a complement operator like uh A bitwise complement operator. Now you need first uh, when you are giving a number in decimal, uh, you need to convert that to a binary number. Okay. Okay. Now, now then you need to complement that binary number. Okay. 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 So uh, this uh, this operator does the same thing. 
Okay, so I have to write only the number two. Yeah, you can give only that. Just okay. with your understanding. Now run the program. Oh, okay, fine. Oh. It's not showing, I don't know. So I have shared with you the operator. Okay, one minute. Okay. Mm. Yeah, now first what you need to do here. Uh first initial uh, no first initialize this num three to zero. We'll take it as zero. Num three. Num three to zero. Okay. Okay now. Uh no assign no, come to the come to the line after print statement. Okay. Okay, now num three equal to num three equals left shift operator two you will be moving the binary number by two bits this one no, no first give the variable name num one okay left shift left shift operator okay and by two bits give the give the number as two Okay, now close the initialization by symbol. Now give a print statement there. Yeah. Uh, here I have to. Same logic you print there. Like num1 is left shifted by 2 inside the double quotes. And one is left shifted by two. Two, yes, two places. Remove the num there. Okay. Now plus num three. Just we need to print the output there. Here I have to. Which you have assigned it. Okay. No, we are also two people. Very easily. Okay, now it's uh, oh, yes. right here. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Now understand the logic there, how the things are working there. We need to understand the logic about the numbers. Three is okay, next give the uh, right shift operator. Binary right shift operator. Same thing, uh, initialize num3 with the uh, uh, binary left shift operator with uh, two places. You can give it as num2, okay. This time give it as num2. Yeah, for example, give two. Okay. Print the same thing. This time give it as num1, right shifted by two places. What one? And just print the num3 there. Yeah. Num1, right. num1 is right shifted. Here you are understanding, right? You are giving this logic. Uh, you are assigning the variable num 
3 here before printing it. Okay. Okay. The print statement you are just printing the outcome of num3 after it, ha it has already performed the calculations in the line number 10. Okay. Okay. Now you are just printing that in line number 1. Line number 11. Yes. Okay. okay. Next, uh, yeah. we do have. Next, we have like uh, shift right zero fill operator. Here, what you need to do just initialize the num3 is equal to num1 and give this operator a uh, right shift operator you just print uh, you just need to give three times instead of two times just to give it as three times zero fill operator give there it as two only Give num two. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Give it as uh, give any variable. Okay. Okay. No, give that operator three. You know, right shift operator. Instead of giving it uh, two times, give three three times. As I had given in the. Not that. Mm. I have given you this uh, operator sign. Oh, okay. Give any number like by two places. Okay. Okay. Just you know, print the logic there. Print what is performed there. Okay. Here I should be giving up. One, one. Okay. In the line number 11, give it as num3 because you have used, no, give it as num2 because you have used num2 in the operation rate uh, at the line number 10. Uh, num2 only. But you are, no, no, not there. Okay. In the line number 11, I told you. Yeah. Not there. In the print thing, in the, inside the double quotes, you have given num1. In the oh, line okay. number yeah. 11. Line number line 11. Number 11. 11. Number one. You have used a variable as num2, num right? Oh, yes, yes. What variable you use, give the, print, give the same thing in print state. Otherwise, you will get confused. confused. Uh, yeah. The answer okay. will not be right. Okay. You'll get confused like that. Just print num3 word the operation is performed here. Okay. Understand about these operators. They try to learn their definitions. What, yes. do, what does they do? Mm -hmm. And uh, just apply their logic like this. Okay. 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 Yes. So everyone, uh, those who have, those who have uh, like pieces, show me their outputs. You were be do you were doing uh, with us, right, in your own systems. I didn't stop sharing. No, I am not doing because recording is apart from you. Okay. Who else can share? That's the problem with me.
no one was doing program installation was done only here installation was done only a few days back okay so installation uh, is not ready of everyone yes you need to go through the videos of the installation which were provided earlier and first install the application otherwise you will not understand anything if you don't practice no you will not understand anything yes by practicing uh, itself you will understand yes ma'am but uh, thing is like uh, whatever uh, we have done installation others are at us and others were not others were not available No, the, no, yeah, is there available as a video? Can you see the video at the structure? Yeah, video is, is available. Yeah. Installation, there are so many other things that are showing other than what was installed. Yeah, I myself got a problem and then uh, sir installed that thing again. He helped me out from the calling. Okay, if anyone yeah. has the problem, they can let us know. Okay, but without installing, we can't uh, go through the classes because you will not understand anything. Okay, now we'll move to the next uh, next topic. Uh, it is the assignment operators. Okay, you know the assignment thing, right? In Java, we are assigning some value to a variable. Okay, now here they have taken as a as an integer variable, and here they are assigning it as six value. Next, same uh, thing. Good, they are declaring b as a float variable and assigning some float value to that. Okay, there is also one concept of like chain assignment operators, where we can assign a single value to multiple variables. Like for example, uh, we can take a, b, c as the variables, and we can assign a single value to them. Like uh, here they have given us hundred. Okay, uh, you can assign one single value to all the variables just after declaring them. So this is the declaration of the variables so once you are declaring them and you are assigning all of them in one line here as 100 so when you print each of them like a b c and all of them are going to give you the same value this is called as chain assignment so please uh, do practice this just okay. declare the Variables as uh, give anything you don't need to give at it uh, them as like it only. You can okay. give them as float or anything. Assign the assign a number there. Okay. Declare two to three variables. So now we are just. Uh, going with the operators and their assignments so these are very simple things now next uh, moving forward we will be going through uh, more uh, complex data types uh, their variables and uh, the arrays uh, loops everything so there you will require the installation of the application otherwise you can't follow What was the name? What was? Name, name, name. Which name? Which name you need? Are you audible to me? Yes, it's my screen. Is it you? Your screen. Okay. I'll... Yeah, yeah. Okay. My name. My name. My name. Name of the program. <laughs> Okay. Give it as like assignment or anything. Chain assignment. Chain assign. Give anything there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Start with the main method. 
Correct, ma'am. Correct. Hello. Hello, is this correct? Yes. Now declare three variables. Okay. Take A, B, C. Of integer type. Actually, my laptop is not working. It's okay, Husma, but. Uh, Try, uh, if you have installed the application, try to execute the programs. No, just declare the variables here. A comma. Okay. A comma, B comma, C. Okay. Next. Close the declaration with semicolon. Oh, sorry. It is popping some error, right? You need to check there. Yes, okay. Now assign these values to a single, assign these variables to a single value. Okay. No. Give A is equal to B is equal to C. You are assigning A is equal to B. Okay. Then B is equal to C. Okay. Now give some value there. Okay. Okay. Yes. Next, uh, try to print the value of B here first. Just uh, give B. Okay, after the double quotes, you can give it as no. Plus sign will come after the double quotes. What do okay. you need to retrieve from the program? Mm -hmm. A is equal to B. No, A is equal to come outside the quotes. Come outside oh. the double quotes and give plus A. So we'll come to know what is the value of A there. Okay. Now try to execute this program. Okay. Save it. Yeah. A is equal to 50. Yes. Now next try to print the value of C.
Okay, you understood, right? Yes. So this is about the chain assignment of the. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the uh, everyone, please do practice these uh, two programs, as uh, the attendance is very low today. Yes. I shall be uh, continuing tomorrow. Uh, ask uh, others to join tomorrow because uh, moving forward, we'll be going through the complex things okay. rather than these uh, simple programs. Okay. Okay. So okay. everyone, please do practice because you will not understand without practicing. Uh, try to find out this. Tomorrow class will start at what time? We shall start uh, at eight fifty itself. Okay. okay. I'll let you know. Oh, we will thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.